Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Action Figure Friday where we check out some awesome action figures and take a look at their sculpts, their molds, their paintwork, their articulation, their overall fun factor and see what we think. And today starts a series I've been wanting to get into for a while but I had to wait and see what I could find and eventually break over and pay second market prices for at least this one. But we're gonna check out these NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Action Figure 2 packs that are from the original 80s cartoon, which I definitely grew up with and uh, have very, very fond memories of. And now the theme song is running through my head. But of course, we have the different two packs. Each one came with a turtle, and then each one came with either Shredder, Krang, or some Foot Clan members. Plus, I have the new Foot Clan 2 pack, and I'm hoping in this last wave of Bebop and Rocksteady, I'll be able to catch one in the stores instead of the freaking flippers that have like charged way too much for them. Plus, we have some other ones coming. I think Casey Jones and uh, April O'Neil and some other really neat ones. I think even Metalhead, something like that's coming. So I'm excited to get in here. I did manage to find most of these in store at regular prices. However, I will admit, this is one that I did order from elsewhere and uh, came all the way from France. We are from France, but um, it actually turned out pretty good. And of course it's the one I wanted most because you know, if you know my Ninja Turtle love, that Leonardo is my, my turtle. He is my spirit turtle. I love all the turtles, but I've always been a Leonardo guy. And we will of course be opening all those other packs uh, over time here as we go. Plus this shredder looks really, really cool. I had a ton of the toys when I was a kid. I had the sewer play set, things like that. I even like a lot of the newer stuff. I haven't checked out the latest version of the cartoon yet. I do want to, even though I think I might have some issue with it. But I loved the uh, last version of the cartoon and uh, had a really good time with that. But let's get in here and let's see what we think. It'll also be interesting to see if these all have different backgrounds because all the NECA figures tend to come with neat little backgrounds you can save and use for some fun action figure photography. And uh, I love that it's the sewer. It's like an, almost like an animation cell uh, from the original cartoon. So that's pretty cool. That's a good time. That's a good starting place. And they come with some awesome accessories, including some interchangeable hands and all that kind of goodness. So let's start working on getting all of this stuff out. They do look very cartoon accurate to me. It's been a minute since I've watched the original cartoon outside of some clips here or there. Let's get this piece of tape off. Tape. Oh, come on now. Don't embarrass me in front of the kids. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. You even get the, um, oh, the communicator, and I just, I knew what it was called, and then I just went blank on it. I don't think they called it the shell phone, although that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and look at it. So that's pretty neat. I don't think it's gonna have any kind of articulation to it. I mean, it looks like maybe that it opened, but nah. Nah, it's just, I think, I don't think any of that moves. It doesn't look like it does. If it does, it's too small for me to deal with. And you get some big old cartoony katana blades back when, um, you know, they could actually use these on the show. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And he has the closed hands attached, but we get the open hands in case Leonardo's got a slap a bee. Wait, why am I worried about cursing? I, I don't care about cursing. This is not for children. Leonardo's, in case Leonardo's got a slap a bitch. There we go. Is Leonardo gonna have to slap a bitch? That's what he wants to say to Raphael all the time, I'm sure. Ah! Why can't I remember what the communicators were called? I do that we get the uh, canister, an ooze canister, with some good detail work going on on that as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure how he's gonna be able to hold it. Maybe that'll fit in some of those hands. And I do love that we also get Shredder's communicator with a nice picture of Krang right on it. Shredder. It's been a minute. Oh, it has a little peg on it too, so it looks like it's gonna peg into his hand, perhaps. We will soon see. All right, we gotta remove some more tape here. And we have Shredder's sword, which is not quite a katana, it's much larger. I don't know if that would still count as a katana. Ah, oh, I'm hurting myself. No, I'm not, obviously. And we got some more hands here. So we have... <laughs> We have, uh, <laughs> we have some grabby hands, the jerk hands, and we have the peace or three stooges poke your eyes out hands. I don't see a hole for pegging. <laughs> nice. And now we're left with the actual action figures themselves. So, oh, oh, <laughs> they wanted to make sure Fred, uh, Shredder's butt was fresh and didn't get stanky. And you know what? I'm gonna cheat the system here. I ain't gonna deal with all that twist tie terribleness if I can avoid it. And we'll just go ahead and do all that. Sounds like I might've just got a package at the door. Somebody just launched something at the door instead of setting it down gently. 
Why do they have a twist tie around one arm? Okay, that one I might have to, the arm ones I might actually have to get in here and do because that's kind of tight quarters. Hmm, I don't, ah, uh, uh. You know what, screw it. Let's see if we can get in there with scissors because it just does go so much faster if I can very carefully scissor it out. Maybe I should go get the smaller scissors. Ah, there we go. At least Mary's not here to make me feel ashamed at the dullness of my kitchen scissors. <laughs> all right, luckily this one wasn't too terribly twist tied around, so we can just do that. All right, so all the twist ties should be removable in one way or another. That one being the trickiest just because I did actually untwist it. We go the other way. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Maybe. I wonder if that was a package, because if it was, they didn't knock on the door or ring the doorbell. Maybe it was something else. I got laundry going. All right. Get that out. We've got to be careful of the cape here. Cool beans. Move all that off to the side. Move all that off to the side. Get rid of his, his, his butt deodorant. And let's check out Leo. He feels good. Like, just the quality of the figure feels really nice in the hand. The artic articulation look like it's, it looks like it's going to be pretty well done and pretty well hidden in here, too. Um, sadly, no articulation on the band. It would be nice if that would at least twist around. Or does it? And it's just... Oh, it does. It's just, as usual, with a lot of NECA joints. Sometimes they're very stiff, so you want to be a little delicate. But that does actually twist around for posing, so that's real nice. The head has some lower neck and upper neck movement with some nice uh, head tilting and twisting action, so that's really good. You do have a slots, the slots for his katanas on his belt. That's really nice. Uh, looks like we have a ball, a hinged and a ball joint kind of thing going on in the arms, so we can get those out, just stiff. Upper bicep, we have a ball joint. A single elbow, but that is excellent elbow work, even though the pad doesn't quite move around to his elbow, but this isn't a fig warts. What am I looking for, you know? And I know there is some articulation in this just based on looking at these other hands, but I don't see it. There it is. So he's kind of got hand motion like that. I'm gonna move Shredder just so he stops stealing focus. So that's really good. Of course, no mid torso or lower torso just because the shells are gonna, you know, be a problem. The legs come out really nicely. They are hinged and ball jointed and you can do a little bit of twisting up there at the upper, upper thigh. The knees work pretty well. They are double hinged and it does move that. They do make them a little bit ugly, but not terrible, all things considered. And we do have some ankle articulation here. Looks like mostly just kind of spins around and you got a little bit of side to side and you do have feet pegs, no toe articulation, but overall looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, set him up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put both katanas in. Now, does the belt have a place for the communicator? That would be really cool. It doesn't though, does it? I mean, I guess I can just kind of sneak it in here. I don't know how well that's gonna stay there, but <laughs> yeah. Leo's ready to slice and dice. Slice your pizza up really nice. The big L looks really good there. Yeah, man. This is, this is actually, uh, this could possibly be my favorite Ninja Turtle line, honestly. Looks real good, looks like he stands well. And we will trade out um, some hands on the Shredder. But let's check out Shredder. Let's see, oh wow, he just looks really good. Full on cloth cape. Of course, the helmet's not removable. That's not a surprise. Um, can't really see under the cape. It looks like it's mostly upper neck. I don't know if there's lower neck, but there is plenty of movement. He can look up or look down, which is good for looking down on the turtles. Can't really look up much, but I think that's just the helmet in the way. Uh, let's see. Oh, the shoulder pads are kind of hinged slightly in there. They're rubberized and hinged, so you do have some room to maybe get this uh, arm working around. It's definitely on a hinge, just again, kind of stiff, you gotta work those neck of joints. And you do have upper bicep twist there, double hinged elbow, so that looks okay. Sorry for bumping the camera. Try not to make you too sick. That's all rubberized, so it's not going anywhere. No lower twist, but it does look like you get some in and out rock, paper, scissors. Because there's definitely a hinge there, but it might just be a stiff joint. And I'm always a little nervous with the neck of stiff joints because I don't want to break them. But there is articulation there. I'm just not going to overwork it, as you can see. Uh, no real torso articulation, except at the waist. He can, of course, twist. This is rubberized. Uh, the slats are slightly rubberized, so you can get out there and do a split. 
Ball joint hinged leg, much like Leo. Double knee, which again, because it's black, it doesn't look as bad, it doesn't show up as bad. Ah, pinched myself. And of course you can twist the leg up here, up at the upper thigh. And, uh, yes, there is actually a upper calf articulation that does twist around there. And again, we have that kind of ball jointed, slightly hinged foot. And this, does that have toe articulation? Oh wow, there's actual toe articulation on Shredder. That's impressive. Most impressive, I can't do a good Shredder to save my life. All right, well, like I said, we're gonna at least do one hand, so let's see how easy these are. Now, these are not as easy as Figuarts tend to be <sighs> coming in or out. God, I might really regret this. Mmm, jeez. Whew. So a trick is you can always use a hair dryer or some warm water to kind of loosen these joints up and move things around. If you've seen my Godzilla, my NECA Godzilla unboxings, we often have to use the hair dryer trick to get the tail on. Whew. I feel like I'm making some leeway here, but not, ah, great. Oh, that's gonna be so hard to get back on, I have a feeling. So we're gonna try putting this hand on. Maybe it goes in easier than it comes out. We're gonna find out. Again, with all the, okay, that wasn't too bad, but with all the pokey stuff, it's a little bit tricky. And then can he hold the communicator? Kind of. Ah, but Krang, I am busy talking to my turtle friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, there's not really anywhere to store the sword, but he looks pretty good, man. And this is, we're off to a good start with these Ninja Turtle figures that I am quite digging, so right on. Okay, so there you go. That's the first round of NECA Ninja Turtle two packs. Let me know, what do you think about these? Did you catch them? These are Target exclusives, in case you're wondering. And sadly, you still can't get them online, which is really making the whole flipper thing a problem, especially with Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, but let me know. They also re-released all the turtles in two packs of just the turtles, so you can find those probably still right now. But let me know what you think, what you like about it, who would you like to see. I hope they bring out a Baxter Stockman. Um, you know, that would be a really cool one. What are some other characters you'd love to see them do? Definitely let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. As I read everything, I do. I really do, and I appreciate it. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go eat some pizza and open up some more stuff. And I'll see you all later.